Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I am just packing up, you can probably see the mess behind me because I am heading off for a morning shoot um, with my assistant and then I have got an event this afternoon so a little bit of a busy day which is nice. Um, I've got my hair straight purely because I can't be bothered to curl it and it feels really weird, I don't like it at all. Okay, I'm going to stick it up in a bun. I'm also feeling like I want to go a bit darker for winter. This is all my natural root colour. I feel like I want to take that just down a bit more. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. In these like phases where I just get like really really bored of my hair but then I look for other things to do to it and I'm like nothing else would look good. So I'm kind of in this little predicament. Maybe I'll get a little, little bit darker next time I go in. I actually need to go in soon because my extensions are pretty much grown out and I think I've lost about like five of them so I'll probably go try and get an appointment for like next week but anyway I'm just going to pack up well actually I've already packed I'm just going to put on my outfit I've got this really cute little where is it dress from Boa it's called because of Alice but Boa for short and I'm sure you all know the lovely Alice Cross it's her brand so I got this little mini dress i just think it's so cute so so simple but one of those like perfect little black dresses it's a beautiful oh my god i've got makeup all over it great story of my life the really lovely like ribbed kind of like rigid material but it really forms your body which is nice and it does feel like it kind of sucks you in and with it i'm gonna put on tights i'm eating my words so hard right now because for the last like since i left school where i had to wear tights every single day i have been like an absolute hater of tights hate them hate the way they looked hated every time i saw someone wearing them i thought you look like a child like just honestly hated tights anyway now i feel like tights are really in a boom this autumn <laughs> and i have seen so many amazing girls that i follow on instagram really looking amazing in the tights like 15 denny are so really really um thin and i thought okay i'll just buy a pair and see anyway i think they look really really nice especially with this like dress i've got a big coat a scarf so i'm gonna put it on and show you um let me know do you guys like tights or not i'm still on the fence i still feel like how old was i at school 15 14 15 i still feel like 15 year old nadia who was made to wear tights for 10 years <laughs> but I'm gonna put on the outfit and I will show you it here is the little dress on <clears throat> it's really cute it's kind of got this like curved hem very very short but also I just think it looks really nice with these tights as you can see they're very sheer I actually thought they'd be a bit more sheer um but I don't know I think they're cute so I got these from Amazon then you guys will probably have already seen but I did a huge wardrobe sort out which that video will be live already um, and I managed to get all my boots out from the top of the wardrobe so now I can see all my shoes nice and clear again and I have rediscovered my favourite church's boots you can see much but I think they look really cool and I think they just keep the outfit looking a bit more edgy because I don't know I just can't help but feel really young <laughs> in these guys but I do actually like the way this outfit looks um, Massimo necklace then I'm popping on this Massimo duty coat which I love I'm pretty sure they'll bring it out again this year if not Zara do a really similar one so that on and then I have this really nice big scarf from NAKD which I think looks cute I just think that's a really nice outfit it's warm it's still kind of autumn focused it's not too wintry um and yeah I'm gonna pop on some sunglasses and my little Chloe handbag but anyway I have this whole bag down here of outfits to shoot so I will probably take you along in the shoot to be honest and then this afternoon I'm meeting my manager which will be really nice and I have a really nice little coderly event which we're going to go to. I am on outfit number two. I'm wearing this beautiful Reese jumper that's new in. Nasty girl trousers, old mango coat but I'll do my best to find it. It's so good. It's got a little fringy bit if you can see. Um, so two more outfits after this but we're getting it done really quickly aren't we? We're always very fast together. <laughs> We just finished shooting. We always do it so quick. Yeah, you're so fast. <laughs> you're, you're so fast. <laughs> I am so fast. <laughs> you're so fast. <laughs> Isabella got me to try my first pumpkin spice latte. Mm. Would you have oat milk in it? Yes, oat milk, no whipped cream. And no cream. whipped cream. I can confirm. It's, it's phenomenal. It's cozy. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know. 
why I thought they'd be like really, really, really sweet, like full of sugar, like like well, you know you can taste it. Yeah, I mean like, there probably is sugar in the syrup. Of but course, you but it doesn't taste. Sweet. No, it tastes more like um, spicy than sweet. But not like hot spicy. No, like like cinnamony. Yeah. Mm. Like, like I want to go bun. home and like light a fire. Oh, yeah. I don't have a fire, but light a candle. <laughs> so I just had a very quick turnaround. Change of outfit, top up of my makeup, and I'm just about to order an Uber and head to Space NK. I think it's the one next to Harris, which is good, so I might pop into Zara afterwards. But I'm gonna just show you my outfit and then I'm gonna head. So I've gone for a little smart casual ensemble. So blazer actually is H no, yeah, blazer is H and M. This little knit is misguided. Belt is new look. Kind of looks like the duo one, doesn't it? I love it. Um jeans are misguided, boots are old Zara, and then Handbag is plain and my jewellery is Ashley Mew. Look at that little face. Um, I just opened up a mango parcel that I got and this is my newest lounge set. How beautiful. It's like a grey blue, um, not the softest knit. So I always say this because I know you guys really appreciate it. If you find things itchy, this probably isn't the right thing for you. Um, but it's really not that itchy. So... It's fine. Anyway, little jumper and wide leg trousers. I think that's so cute. I don't know if I've shown you in the vlogs yet, but I got my Freddy's Flower subscription back up and running. Um, some of you might remember back from Winchester and the first couple of months in this house. Johnny bought me this as a gift for my birthday, I think, a couple of years back, and I loved it. I got flowers every two weeks, so I thought I should just treat myself and restart it. So. This is this week's delivery. Okay, so this is this week's ones. I'm gonna actually cut the li lily stems out because last time they just went everywhere and they're also, I'm pretty sure they're poisonous for dogs. Maybe just cats, I'm not sure. But there is a thing on Lily's, not Lily's kitchen. There is a thing on Freddy's Flowers where you can like say no lilies. Um, so I might do that actually after this bunch is put together, but look how pretty that is. And then I always get asked about this vase. I also got this from Freddy's just because they sell it and I feel like it's the perfect vase for their bouquets, you know. So this is from Freddy's. I think you actually get this free, you know, if you subscribe. Maybe I've made that up. Anyway, let's do this. Honestly, that is the saddest looking bouquet I've ever had. <laughs> but it's because so many of it hasn't bloomed. So like these have to bloom, this has to bloom, and this rose has to bloom, and then also all my lilies. So I'll show you again in a couple of days and you will see. But it's got some real beautiful like, what would you call that? I don't know. But it looks like wild, you know? So I've had a lot of deliveries arrive today, but a lot of it is for a far fetched video, so you guys will see that in a couple weeks. I think I've already told you that. But I did also get a few things I can show you now. So I bought these Prada sunglasses. I had a meeting yesterday with my manager, and she had these sunnies on, and I literally came home and bought them straight away. I'm wearing them in what reel? This reel. I think they look so good. So I think you can get them in black or tortoise shell, but they were tortoise. And I have so many black sunglasses, it's ridiculous. So I picked up the tortoise shell ones, which I think are so cute. And then the sides have a little bit of branding and they're like quite thick legs, which I like. I just think they're really sweet. Probably more of a hair up job or a half up, but I think they're really nice. So I got them. And then this, I actually have no idea what this is. I don't know, I got some pieces from the brand Giovona. I don't know how to say it. I think it's Giovanna, Giovona. But they very kindly gifted me some bits. Actually, I showed you that jacket or the coat. Um, so they gifted me that. And then I also bought some bits from them. And then now this has turned up. So I've got a lovely little note here. Oh, okay, it's a cardigan. Love this. I actually saw this a little while ago and they didn't have it in stock. How gorgeous is that? Oh, don't eat that. Get off that. Shoot. Okay, can you imagine that with like white high waist, like smart trousers, not white cream, smart trousers and then like my Chloe trainers and this, and then maybe like my YSL mini Cassandra. That is so gorgeous. And it has little like pearl buttons on it. Not buttons, sequin. Just 
pearls. It's just pearls on there. <laughs> oh, so cute. I love that. That was very kind of them. I'm going to try on this um, cardigan. So I've got my like home comfy biggie. Uh-uh. Come here. I've got my comfy clothes on, so cashmere bottom skims tank, and then I'm going to pop on my little cardigan, which I think is so cute. It's kind of like giving Christmas jumper in the most like cute, classy way ever. I literally love it. I think that's so gorgeous. Isn't that so nice? Biggie. Oh my god, this dog wants to eat everything. Come here. You want to say hello to everybody? You're so cute. You tell everyone how good of a boy you are now. It's so good. He's definitely, I did say this on Instagram last night, but he's definitely like grown up. Like he's two, he turned two in September. So he's definitely like becoming older and like his puppy crazy, like crazy self has calmed down a lot. We stopped eating everything, which is nice because he was quite um, difficult for a while. What is in your mouth? Get it out. But yeah, he's calmed down so much and it just makes makes for a much easier life, doesn't it? Such a good boy now. Come up. Come up. We do really want another another doggy, don't we? You want a brother or a sister? <gasps> what do you want? What do you want? But I think we'll wait. Well, basically we're going to get one and then we're like, mm, let's hold off. Let's make sure Biggie is like 100% trained and well behaved. And now he's there, I'm like just relishing in like him being like this. So I'm just not sure I want another one yet. I feel like I'm just, he's really become like super cuddly. Like he was such a daddy's boy, but now he's like, he just loves me so much. And he's just really like, I don't know. He really is just like a little baby now. And I just feel like I want to enjoy you for a bit more on your own. Okay, he's, so, he's cuddly sometimes. <laughs> okay, I haven't spoke to you guys in a couple hours, but I have been in the kitchen Cooking up a storm, haven't I, honey? Storm, yeah. It was my night to cook, and it was between mince and tatties, any of you Scottish girls will know what I'm talking about. And it's not just mince and, mince and tatties, it's like Scottish mince and tatties. Or toads in a hole, which I've actually never in, I'm so greasy, never ever in my life made. And I don't remember the last time I ate it, but it's like one of my favorite dishes. So anyway, I made toad in a hole, and I'm actually really proud of how it looks. Do you think it looks good? Oh, don't say that. Well, yeah, I'll turn you around. <laughs> Just the, a bit, I this think. recipe was for four, and you're meant to have eight sausages, but we only put five sausages in, and I forgot to half the batter down to five. Like, do you know what I mean? I didn't do the math. So basically, we have too much batter, but that looks good. Very Maybe good. slightly singed, but it looks good nonetheless. And then that is like onion gravy. Look at Piggy. <laughs> onion gravy. And then over here is cabbage which is going to be so deadbeat because there was meant to be garlic in it i just didn't want to deal with garlic today so there's no garlic in that so it's literally just roasted cabbage but i think it's going to be good i love a sausage like it is my isn't it my favorite food in the whole world you don't have to do like that johnny don't it's so child it's so childish if you were to if you were asked if you were asked what is my favorite food what would you say mcdonald's and then after that <laughs> nando's and then after that what would you say Sausage. I never would have got sausage, honestly. Never? Honestly, never. <gasps> okay. Especially not the sausages that you bought. No, that's because of... Johnny makes me buy, like, proper butcher sausages. I like Richmond. Wee Willy Winkies. Again, if you're Scottish, you'll know what I want to buy. <laughs> but anyway, I love a sausage. It's my actual favourite dish in the whole world. Like, anything with sausage in it. Yeah, so, that would be scorching. <laughs> Don't let him lick that. Sausages are very good. The outside is very delicious. What about the inside? Tastes like a pancake. Yeah, Why does my Yorkshire pudding taste like pancake? Wasn't there, but I don't know. It wasn't there, I, don't know. I don't know. There's bits of it that taste really good, and there's bits of it that taste like a pancake. But actually, it's really good. It does need like next time if I do it, I'm gonna put like herbs in the mix for the batter, or that burn the herbs. Who knows? It's a trial and error process. <laughs> you just said it. I said about that, and you said you weren't. Yeah, but you're right. The, the sausages already have herbs in them. Have you tried the cabbage? No, not yet. Okay, well, I'm gonna try a bit of that. And then I'll come back. I'm not gonna eat on camera. Okay, the cabbage is actually really good. It's good? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Have you put the gravy on it? The gravy's on it. Put some onion on it. Well, don't record me okay, if you well, don't record me. <laughs> That's actually good, isn't it? Okay. 
Cabbage is good, hun. It is good. It's good. And the gravy. Just that's a lot, me. That's a lot of onion. I know. Well, that said two onions, but next time I'll just do one. We should have just poured it on there. No. Anyway, um, <clears throat> just call me Mary Berry. That was a good meal. What, the baker? <laughs> <laughs> good morning. It's Sunday. No, it's not Sunday. It feels like a Sunday. It's Saturday morning. And we are having a bit of a working day at home, but I thought I would give Biggie a little shower because you're stinky, aren't you? You stinky boy. So I'm going to use my bougie dog shampoo on him. Come on. Come on. Um, it's the way, it's called like for a baby, for a baby, for a baby. It's so cute. So I'm going to give him a little plush way shower. And make him smell nice. I also really, really need to get him like his nails cut. And with being obviously it's so easy because you could just get him groomed. But Biggie will not let a stranger that close to him. Um, so we're having to do it ourselves. But he won't even let us. Look at this picture of my doggy. <laughs> he won't even let um, Johnny or I get near his nails. So I'm getting a little bit concerned about that because they are getting quite long. And obviously I don't want to get them so long because they'll start hurting him while they'll break. So anyway. He can't get to a groomer, so it's my job. This is the shampoo. How cute is that? For a baby pet shampoo. <laughs> and I used to shower him up in my ensuite in the office with um, like a bath and a shower in one, but he can't stand on the floor. He gets really like stressed that it's slippy and wet. So now I just pop him into our ensuite in the bedroom and he actually really enjoys it. So I'm gonna go out and do that now. No. Right, get that. In typical Biggie fashion, he does not want to go for a shower. He's just, he hates being on camera, I swear. Look at him. Come on, let's go. Right, in now. Bye then. Bye. Morning, everybody it's now Sunday I'm just getting ready to start filming for Wednesday's video which oh wait the stuff all over my lens it's a new in and styling video so there's some really really cool bits on the well um bits from Zara Mangle also if you guys have just buy these earrings I just popped in there will be a 20% off code for the for the jewelry I'm wearing on Wednesday so keep an eye out for that um, but I'm just going to pop on my current lip combo. Ignore the mess. Elizabeth Arden 8 hour like lip balm. So I pop that on. And then, I have actually shown you guys this before. But this is the L'Oreal lip liner in Beige and New. Number 630. It's just a really, really lovely like my lips but better kind of nude. because I've put the lip balm on, it makes the liner really easy to blend in and you can kind of create this like lipstick effect, lipstick shade, I don't know. Anyway, I think it's nice. That's it on. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just film this quickly and then I'm gonna blitz the house, get it into a shape of some kind of tidiness and then we're gonna take Biggie out probably to Hyde Park and just have a little walk with him, which would be nice. And that will end the weekend. I did mean to film this video yesterday, but I ended up having just like the most lazy day ever, so did Johnny, and I actually fell asleep on the sofa at like 6.30, woke up at like 8.30, went to bed, and I didn't get up this morning until like 9.30, which is crazy, I literally slept for like 15 hours yesterday, so I feel alive and well again. <laughs> just give you a very quick look at this rail, so obviously you guys, actually have you seen this coat yet? I'm not sure, maybe, maybe you saw it in the vlog, um, a little bit of caramelin. There is some Zara in here. Also another really lovely coat. Um, again, some Zara. I'm obsessed with this jumpsuit. And then stuff like this. 
and it feels very, very autumnal and it's making me very excited. Here is a look at my outfit. For filming, you always have to make sure you look cute from like there up. Probably actually there up, but usually about there up. <laughs> and as long as that looks cute up there, then you're good. So actually often I just put on like jockeys and things, but I think because today is a stand up standing video, I should make it look a little bit nicer. So trousers are from Marj, belt is Loewe. Top is old Zara. I just really like the sleeves of this one. Also, it just looks really cute when you're filming. Um, and then I have my new jewelry on as well. I feel like I literally just did my skincare 10 minutes ago, but because it is Sunday, I do not need to be wearing makeup. And I'm gonna use some of my Codely items that I got from the event. I didn't actually take you to the event because well, I did take you, I just forgot to vlog. Got a couple top-ups of the Reservatol Lift, I think it's called. Reservatol Lift. It's like the pink range, which I love, but I mainly use that like in the mornings. Um, but I thought we could just do a little bit of skincare together. And then I'm going to go on dog walk so my skin can get some fresh air. I'm going to use something different for my cleanser today. This is the Elizabeth Arden... Plenishing Cleansing Oil. I haven't used this in so long, but I used to absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna use that to like melt my makeup off. It's skincare it has to be one of those things in life that like I just love. Like I love doing my skincare. I find it such enjoyable, like 10 minutes. I don't know. Second cleanse, I'm gonna use this Beauty Pie Japan Fusion. Transforming cleanser with antioxidant, vitamin C, and grape polyphenols. Um, this is really nice. Nice, like, thick texture, and I just use this as, like, my second cleanse. So next week, I have a very busy week. I am vlogging. I have a lot of events going on, which is nice. Like, I've got a couple lunches. Um, I've got a very heavy, like, filming week. And I also might have house viewing. And I do this every time I view a house, I get so excited and I'm like, this is it, this is the house, I wanna live here. Um, but this one's actually not in London. So I am very excited about it. Well, actually it's not confirmed. It's meant to be on Wednesday, but I have to call up tomorrow and confirm it with the estate agent. And I'm just hoping that it's not gone because where it is, there is like, I don't know if I'm just picky, but like where it is in the price range we're looking at, that is the only house, like full stop that we'd want to view. So I don't know if other people, if other people have the same taste as us, then there are probably gonna be quite a lot of people wanting to look at it. Have you, I don't know if this is gonna come up on camera. Can you see like here, it's kind of dark. I kept catching it in the mirror and thinking, is that a bruise? But now I'm thinking it's like a sunspot or like a line of sunspots. Can you see? That's weird. Anyway, I'm very excited about this house, providing you get to see it. I will tell you next week if we do. Um, and then the next kind of like stress would be if our landlord would let us get out of this rent early because we can move there within like the next couple of weeks. I feel like it's going to come down to a case of him saying like, it's fine if you want to move, but you have to pay the rent here until somebody else is paying it. So it's kind of like, if, if it goes that way, then it's kind of like, that's a risk that we're taking. Like what if this house doesn't end up having anyone wanting to rent it until our lease is up, which would be like January time. And that's like, that's a lot of money <laughs> to spend if we're not living here. It's like two or three months of rent. So yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll just view it, see what we think about it and then kind of look at the next steps. But I absolutely, absolutely love it. Like, you know, I don't know. I just, I look at it and I'm like, oh, I can see so clearly us being in that house. Like I can see the next like year or two years of us living there. Like, I don't know. I just love it. I don't know. Also, it's kind of like in the area that we're, one of the areas we're looking at buying. So it would just be nice to be in that area and, you know. Um, also, I kept this little diptyque candle that Lauren got me last year for Christmas because I wanted to remember how good it was to buy it again this year. It's the biscuit smell. God, it smells so good. It smells so good. Anyway, I went on to buy it yesterday and it's not out yet. So I'm hoping it's coming out in a couple weeks. But I just thought this jar is so pretty, I don't want to get rid of it. So I just cleaned out the wax and now I've got it as my little cotton bud holder, which is cute. What's new in my skincare? So what I just used was the toner from Crowdly. Normally I use the Crowdly cleanser as well, but I literally ran out of it yesterday. 
Um, this is a new product which I'm really liking. It's the Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Micro Capsule Skin Replenishing Essence. <laughs> and basically what you do is you just put like a couple dots on your hand and then you just kind of like press it in. I'm gonna pop on new serum. So I used to use this serum quite often and I actually ran out of it. It's just a very hydrating serum. It's the Reservatol Lift Codely Serum. I need to get the exact info about this, but basically it's a nat it's natural ingredients as always. Um, but it's something like five times more effective than retinol. Maybe not the serum, maybe it's the serum. I can't remember. But the, in this range, there's something in it that's five times more effective than retinol which I think is incredible because retinol is very harsh. Also this range smells so good. Then I always use this eye, well actually there's a couple eye creams I really like. This one is the one I use most. Uh, this one is new, I really like this one as well. I actually popped this on, pop, <laughs> popped that one on this morning. But this is, I got a top of this from the event. Also with this eye cream, it is very, very gentle and safe and you're able to put it like all over your eyes, on your eyelid, as close to the eye line eyelash line as you want and it's not going to affect your eyes so I really like that you don't have to be too careful about it I'm actually going to put on yeah I'm going to put on my night cream even though it's like three o'clock in the afternoon again from the same range there's a night and a day cream let me show you so there's the day and the night both are so nice I use this one a lot in the mornings but because it's like I'm not going to do my skincare again until tomorrow I'm going to pop my night one on so this feels very like luxurious very thick and moisturizing i just put on a bit of this with arden eight hour cream on my lips if you have dry lips at all in any capacity and you haven't tried this Trust me and buy this, it is so good. You can use it on like dry patches on your body, like you can put it on your elbows, you can put it you can put it wherever you want. Um, but if you get dry lips and you need, to, then try this because you literally use it once and you won't have dry lips again. Like it's so good. It's not like, you know with a chapstick, you use a chapstick like throughout the day. And you have to like put it on to rehydrate your lips. Like that is just, you put it on once and your lips are good to go. That was so weird. <laughs> okay, and that is my skincare. Done. Really like proud of how my skin is looking, especially because it is coming into like that time of year when my skin normally gets very dry and it looks pretty like dull. But I feel like I've definitely kept on top of it this last couple weeks and yeah, it looks good. So many clothes that were beanies. Um because I used to put them in little jumpers and stuff when it was cold. Bean was like so much thinner than Biggie, like so much smaller. And like if it was cold, he'd have to wear this jacket because otherwise he'd shiver. Whereas Biggie is such a bruiser that I don't know if he'd actually need a jacket yet. But I'm starting to pull out some of some of Beanie's old clothes. It's just this little barber jacket. Love that. And then this was a little jumper. Where is this from? I think I've actually put this on you before. This was I think this was Maxbone. Yeah, this is Maxbone. A little army jumper which was always too big on me and he actually refused to walk when i put it on him but i think it would be perfect on mr biggs oh look at that oh, it's perfect you're so beautiful oh my goodness me you want to wear that when we go out oh my god that's the cutest thing ever look at him Oh, do you like it? It suits you. Look. That looks so beautiful on you. <laughs> oh my god, so cute. Flowers bloomed, guys. They look a lot nicer. They still do look a little bit like underwhelming. I suppose everything's around this side, but I need to cut out all these bits from the lilies now because they're annoying. We are in Hyde Park with Biggie having a little walk to and actually we always come here because it's so quiet and like it's just a nice Sunday walk but there's like some mad protest going on and they're like literally screaming through microphones so it's not exactly relaxing is it honey nope um, it's yeah it's very busy I feel like you girls with boyfriends are gonna ask about this fleece that Johnny's wearing I think it's so nice 
It's not what she said when I first got a dog. Yeah, when you first got out, I was like, what is that? But actually, it is cute. It's a good little dog walking. Model it, honey. It's from Bam. Bam? Yeah, bamboo clothing. Bamboo clothing, bam. It's where all of his bamboo boxers cotton. are from as well, actually, and they're really comfortable. They're like the softest cotton ever. Where are you? I wore them once. I wore his <laughs> boxers once because I was like chafing. Three horses. And I was like, I just want to be comfortable, so I put on his boxers for bed, clean ones. And it, oh my God, <laughs> squirrels everywhere. Ah. It was like life changing how comfortable they were. So then that's how I got into the Skims pajama boxers because. I wanted like a woman's replica of his boxes. Anyway, I will link his face down below because it is cute. Guys, see these boats in High Park? They look like pedlos. I don't even know if you can take dogs on there because I think that would be the funnest, not funnest, most fun day out to take Biggie on there with a the picnic. Okay, so I'm just gonna end the vlog here because it's now Sunday night. So I'm gonna just quickly edit this and get this up for you guys. I am just enjoying a glass of red to end the weekend and I will see you all on Wednesday for a fashion video.